I am Lawrence Chuno, and this is Doing Jazz. Hello everyone and welcome to Doing Jazz. My name is Lawrence Chuno and this episode is with singer-songwriter Savannah Jane. Savannah and I ran into each other on Instagram as a result of having friends in common. Well, the truth is that I checked out her Instagram and was blown away by the number of videos of uh, cover songs that she does and she does them so well. So I decided to check out her original music on Spotify and instantly fell in love with her songwriting and vocal abilities. And guess what? We're also neighbors in Inwood, Manhattan. So I was like, why not have her on the podcast? Savannah was very forthcoming and this conversation flowed freely and was so much fun, probably because we have something in common in our backgrounds. You'll see what I mean when you listen. After listening to this episode, you can learn more about Savannah by going to the website of the podcast www.doingjazz.net all right she is talented she is prolific she is lit ladies and gentlemen i present savannah jane in your face Closer to Very close to me. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not a musical dance. It's not a dance. It's more like 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 a dance. Exactly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Savannah Jane. Welcome to Doing Jazz. Thank you so much. Great. Uh, and thank you for making out the time to do this. I know you've been traveling around. A little bit, and, yeah. Um, how, by the way, how is grandma and oh, how is mom? Oh, it's very interesting. Uh, oh, <laughs> it's very interesting. It's it's all right. She's in hospice care. Uh, okay. They're evacuating her for the hurricane. Oh, wow. So it's all like... Oh, she's in Florida. Yeah, and right in the zone. Oh, yeah. my God. So, and my, my, it, my parents haven't mm-hmm. really had a whole lot of... They're very lucky. We haven't had a whole lot of tragedy in our family. So mm-hmm. last weekend they just were like freaking out, and I was like, "Okay, I'll come. Like, yeah. I'll be the, I'll oh, be the okay. voice." Okay. Of so you went because <laughs> I went. We we were supposed to do it uh, sometime last week, and yeah. you had to get like a, a an urgent travel ticket to Florida. Yeah. Was it, you yeah. went to Florida? I went to Florida. Okay. I bought my flight an hour before it took off, and oh if you God. buy a flight an hour before yeah. it takes off, it's really cheap. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. You know, somebody it told me that. It's strangely cheap. <laughs> somebody told me that, but I, I've never. He said, "Just, just try it once." Yeah. I'm like, "There's no way I'm gonna risk it like that." You know? Yeah, because like, they were like, "Well, you sh- if you want to come, go mm-hmm. ahead and come. It'll probably be really expensive." And I was like, "Well, I'll just look," yeah. thinking it'd be like thousands of dollars. Yeah. And I looked it up, and it was like nothing. So awesome. I was like, "All right, I'll be there in two hours." <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad yeah. things are working out for for yeah. her. Uh, how is your mom? Oh, she's good. She's okay. all right. Great. They great. they evacuated up to Mississippi. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so how about we start with your music? Let's yeah. start with your so, yeah. what you call old music. I, oh I'm, yeah. I'm grooving to it. <laughs> I've been listening to it all day, and I, I like that people like it. Really love it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> this is your this is your EP. Your one yeah. EP so far. This is my I, original EP. Okay, great. Yeah. And you're working on uh, some new stuff. But let's talk about the yeah. stuff that's out already. Um, it's a five track EP. Yeah. Um how how did it come about? Because it's it seemed like it has a theme. A kind little bit. Of, a yeah. little bit of a theme, but the, the sound is very consistent and very beautiful. I like it. I like I like the minimalist nature of uh the amount of instrument there and the the arrangement really showcased your voice. It really Thank showcased you. the beauty of your voice. Thank you. Um my favorite track I always want to pick when I talk to musicians, <laughs> musicians <laughs> that I I admire what they're doing. I I end up finding a favorite track. I like yeah. the no no respect. I think maybe sometimes it's hard to find the words in my head. So hard to hear the things that you said when you said goodbye. 
Oh, why is it so hard to see that if you have me, you can't have her, you can't have her, no boy, that's absurd. You ain't got no respect, there ain't none here, and I fear I can't go on living here with no respect. For me or my mind I can't find a reason You've gone out of season I'm gone Do you want to talk about that song? Or, yeah, and you can also sure. talk about any other thing you want to talk about in the album. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's... See, uh, we were talking earlier before we started about, mm-hmm. like, I said, oh, this is old. It's not that old. It's just, like, when you're a musician, you have ADD a little bit. Yeah. So you're like, I'm on a new project. And you Tell hear something it. older. It's fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, yeah, I recorded this uh, EP in Oklahoma City mm. uh, about four years ago now. And I've... Yeah. I, have just used it and promoted it for a really long time because it was kind of just it started as a concept piece and I was going to do um like seasons kind Mm -hmm. of thing seasons of the year when I was writing a lot and then um I just kind of really liked the fall winter spectrum of what I was writing so um I kind of went with that so it's all very like dark and a little bit um Mm -hmm minimalistic and it features like the yeah. vocals and the end you can hear like i had a really great bass player yes. so you can really hear him featured on a lot of stuff because mm-hmm. there's not a lot of other stuff going on yeah yeah uh but yeah i really liked uh the tune no respect as well uh, it's just a tune about uh being in a relationship and mm-hmm. not getting any respect honestly <laughs> <laughs> like it's yeah. it's a little bit sassy and i think um yeah. that you don't really kind of realize how sassy it is because of the way it's presented and then like when i sing it live people are always Mm -hmm. like snap Mm -hmm. (laughs) and as artists i kind of like i was listening to the to the lyrics and uh, i i i understand it's about love but it's also to me how i interpret it it's also about getting respect from from the audience about your art because you know getting respect from people around you about your art letting them really understand that hey i'm here for it like i'm i'm legit about this this is what i want to do stop asking me when i'm going to get a real job (laughs) or something (laughs) something it's very important important, you know respect me know my schedule don't just show up and ask me when next are you playing you know you gotta know you know those kind of things so interesting yeah so that's that's my perspective i I vibe with that 100 (laughs) percent. yeah this is my job yeah 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 Yeah. Yeah. so i was uh like I, as I was saying, your drama has a it, it really. We, you were talking about your drama, how you liked him, yeah. and, like, and uh, you would really wish you could work with him again. He has this soft touch, like yeah. he's not trying to do a lot. He really, <laughs> you know, the he, what he does is on point. You know? He really brought that into because what I when I play um, now, I usually use guitar, but if there's a piano, I want to do that. Mm-hmm. And it's just me and piano. So okay. when I came in to record... Oh, you play piano on, yeah, the, on the record. Yeah, that's my awesome. original. That's how I write and awesome. stuff. Uh, so I was kind of like, well, it's just usually me and the piano. Mm-hmm. I don't really know what to do with this in the studio. I didn't really have a whole lot of vision for mm-hmm. it. And he just kind of listened to the tracks. And I remember him asking me if I knew who James Blake was. And I was like, yeah, I love James Blake. Mm. And he was like, okay, I hear a lot of James Blake in this. Hmm. Leave it with me. Wow. And then like he just did all this. Yeah. And I just, I love it. Nice. I love nice, it so much. Nice. 
it kind of created a sound for me when I was mm-hmm. kind of. Mm-hmm. Now I have a question about yeah. uh, recording with piano because mm-hmm. uh, I play the piano also. But whenever I go to the studio to record and sing, there's always these um, complications that I have to deal with, especially if I'm playing acoustic piano. Mm-hmm. T- try to avoid my vocals from bleeding into the right uh, into the piano um, recording. How do you do that? Like, do you? <laughs> I'm assuming that you recorded the first time and then mm-hmm. like had a scratch vocal and then you re-recorded the real vocals. Right. Is that how you did it? Yeah, we recorded. I did the piano tracks first. Okay. To a oh, you didn't you didn't sing at all no. while playing the piano? No. Oh. And then okay. um, I did like a scratch vocal yeah. after that, and then we built the whole track kind mm-hmm. of just around the piano, mm-hmm. and then came back and did final vocals, which oh, is okay. kind of usually how I do it when yeah. I'm recording. Now mm-hmm. I've got all the piano tracks yeah. to a click and then we kind of just build around that because I, I want it to I see. I sound see. a bit how yeah. I sound when I'm live. Yeah. I don't want it to be like Yep, yep, yep. Different. Understandable. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. I would say I would um who have you been compared with? Who have I been compared to? Yeah. Oh Lord. Well it depends <laughs> on what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> uh that time I got James Blake and I've gotten that a couple more times okay. since then. Okay. And like a uh, female artists like uh, I get Regina Spector every now and oh, then. Okay. And um uh, I got Lord a couple times last year, which was cool because she does have like interesting yeah. progression and yeah. minimalistic stuff. And when mm. she first came on the scene, I was like, I dig this. Yeah. I'm down with this being yeah. on the radio. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's fine. Hmm. Uh, otherwise, I work for Carnival Cruise Lines, so yeah. I lead rock bands. Okay. And we do a bunch of different kinds of music, yeah. so I'll get... I've seen... I saw one of your... Um, your videos you were singing <laughs> i think i don't know it looked like a casino probably they were like, there's a couple dancing and oh yeah they were like really dancers. into it and yeah. i really loved it <laughs> you know? yeah so it, yeah. Oh, it's always funny because it's all we have like theme nights so mm-hmm. we'll do a classic rock or we'll do motown it's oh. really fun but it's it's interesting to get guests they'll be like it'll be someone from that genre they'll yeah. be like you sounded just like pat benatar or you sound just like aretha franklin yeah. and they'll be like that's just because i was singing You're motown singing, yeah <laughs> Yeah. Don't, if I yeah. sounded like Aretha Franklin, I would not yeah. be here. Let's be honest. <laughs> See, w- like the timbre of your voice, it gives me Adele, even though your voice is a little oh. bit brighter than that of Adele, you know. But then you have this Christina Aguilera sass. Mm. In, in your vocal. So, like so it's like, I feel like I love I like that combination. I like that combination. Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> I'm a big All right. admirer of Adele's writing <laughs> yeah i like her <laughs> writing time. too i like her writing yeah grew yeah. up on her yeah let's go back to the very beginning sure where are you from <laughs> uh i'm originally from florida okay i uh, grew up in tampa oh uh and i've lived kind of everywhere i went to school mm-hmm. in oklahoma city okay and then lived out in nashville for a bit wow and now i'm here because i don't know where else to go <laughs> oh wow so um let's talk about florida a little yeah. bit uh how is Tampa? Is Tampa affected by this? I, no. you know, I we're just waiting. Oh it's, yeah, you know it's a hurricane, so you, yeah. you it's. I think it's tonight. They're mm-hmm. supposed to know, oh. kind of like what's happening. But yeah, yeah. I remember last week my mm-hmm. parents were like they live in an rv yeah so they're like well we're not gonna leave and i was like you're gonna ride out a category five hurricane in, in an, an RV? rv is that a smart decision yeah. like let's think about it yeah. and they're like well it's not coming here so and i was like i think it might guys like yeah. i think it might and then but, it, but you, you can't blame them <laughs> think about just no, think I about know. it i know think about te- somebody telling you hey you gotta move because yeah. a storm is coming and you're like where is the storm well the silly you know? part is that they move constantly that's why they live in an rv because they travel yeah. you know so i was like yeah but where they good like you, you I, I understand all the time. I, I but you're but not gonna leave for yeah the i see where you're coming from <laughs> but at the same time i'm like i love them they're great if somebody but. tells me to move even if i'm just standing and i'm <laughs> one arrest and somebody's like, no. like, yeah i'll be like okay want. okay i'm gonna write don't worry me i'm gonna i'm gonna do it like like Right. Some people say, okay, it should be mandatory to move. It should be lawful to move people when this thing yeah. is coming. But a lot of states don't have that law. And I kind of understand why they don't. Because yeah. it's hard to get people to just move all their stuff. Some people, that's the only place they know. That's this where they're from. Yeah. You know, that's that's all they know. You can't. 
how are you, how are you gonna convince them that something they have never experienced is coming their way? I, you yeah, know, so I I kind of understand and I feel <laughs> and I feel for for everybody. Like I just, it's nature. We can we can only watch it happen and then we try to do what we can do to uh, to fix things. But our our prayers to everybody, you know, oh, yeah. in Florida. Yeah, it'll, it'll be a good yeah. one. Wow. So you went to you went to high school in florida in I tampa did, yeah. okay did, was it when did music start when did music come into the pe- picture uh, i started singing i mean a little cliche but i started singing when i was four or five in mm. catholic school it's choir cliche. <laughs> <laughs> i mean everybody's like i yeah. started singing no, in church I didn't start singing but <laughs> yeah i did i started singing when i was four or five and yeah. um i remember they had to build because in the church you sing behind the altar yeah you're catholic yeah i'm catholic too oh yeah, yeah. what's up catholic high five <laughs> Uh, yeah we had like at the altar you sing behind it and yeah. i would always do like solos i'd yeah. be five years old mm-hmm. and so they built like a a stand thing yeah. for me to stand on so oh, you could wow. see me over the altar and it's still there they use it for like a lot of the like little kids in the choir now awesome. but they originally built yeah. it so i could wow because <laughs> i was tiny <laughs> which is cute but yeah so i did that for years and years and years and just i would sing it every like i would go on sunday and sing at like four masses wow. and that would just be my thing yeah. and i went to catholic school okay. at where i went to church mm-hmm. so they would pull me out of school to come sing at funerals or like different mm. things that were going on. And so I kind of awesome. got awesome. the feel of being a professional yes. vocalist at yes. the age of eight or nine. Mm-hmm. Cause they would and be like, it seems like you discovered your voice really early because it takes a while yeah. to actually discover what you sound like, <laughs> you know, but yours doing that would allow, give you the opportunity to really find your voice at a very, very tender age and, yeah. and build on it. I yeah. don't, ever remember kind of not being comfortable yes. singing wow. like completely yes so hmm. yeah and it was That's it was amazing. a good experience like they'd come take me out of math class because they'd be like oh savannah's the only singer mm-hmm. so we've got to take her she's gonna come we'll bring mm. her back <laughs> that's amazing so. that's amazing yeah talking about uh singing at masses i really <laughs> like singing responsoria so um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really the best <laughs> i wonder if it's like because it's ingrained because it's in, like nostalgic from childhood and yeah. it's just comforting now but yeah. like whenever i like sometimes if i'm really stressed i'll turn on like hymns like that yeah. or like the responsorial song yeah, or like, like what I, like, and i'll just listen to yes. them on spotify yeah. and i'm like i feel calm <laughs> it's so calm like when you sing a responsorial like the fact that people are responding yeah it's usually what gets it for me like you sing you teach them the song and everybody catches it really quick it's oh yeah a, everybody catches amazing. right on <laughs> they catch it right <laughs> Like, we got this. They're we not singers at all, singers. but they've got it. They, they just get it. That's that's magic. <laughs> There's so much music, the so Lord. much theater in, <laughs> in the Catholic uh, homily. It's like you come, you sing your responsorial yeah. song. You say, the response is this, and you chant the song, and then they chant it back There's to you. There's a lot of chanting. And I then like chanting. Yeah. Everywhere on, <laughs> you know. Like we big got chanter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. I, I do remember they changed some stuff in the Catholic Mass in the past yes. couple of years. And now yeah. Yeah. I'm a little confused me and too. it makes me uncomfortable. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit, something like yeah, that. With yeah, with your spirit. It used to be an also with you. And also with, with you. you <laughs> what is the difference? Why can't we just do... Okay. <laughs> A lot of opinions. Yeah, a lot of opinions, <laughs> but that's, I mean, it took Everybody's me a while. Everybody's fine with yeah, it. <laughs> it took me a while. It took me a while. I have to agree. Yeah, like they changed a lot. And yeah, it's because I remember one time I mistakenly went to like an Anglican church. Oh, yeah. Um, And I it took me a while to figure out I was in the Catholic church, you know. Right. It wasn't like I was, yeah. I freaked out or anything, but it, it the, the, the homily was kind of the same right. thing but subtle differences i noticed some differences yeah. but then when the catholic church changed the, the the format and all the words now it started sounding like that anglican church that i went to once like the word right. like you know i'm like okay i'm uh, getting this uh, the same feeling i got when yeah. i went, <laughs> went so yeah. strange I'm, yeah. now that i'm like a little bit more like uh educated and like i know like all the denominations mm-hmm. and stuff i'm like why don't we just yeah, all I know. hold hands I know. <laughs> like, I know i'm such a hippie I know. about it now the difference <laughs> there's no much difference like you, yeah the anglican church and catholic church uh what they call the episcopal church in america it's it's all the same thing yeah, yeah just the well, same yeah. thing yeah 
It's kind of right. so. In high after high school, you went to college in Oklahoma yeah. City. Mm-hmm. Did you study music there? I didn't. I studied acting. Actually, oh. I studied like a classical, yeah. uh, like Shakespeare and Chekhov and stuff. Wow! Because uh, I was doing musical theater mm-hmm. in high school. I mm-hmm. got very much into musical theater. I studied out here. Yeah. And um, that was the one thing that I wasn't strong in. I was a dancer when I was growing up and mm-hmm. I was obviously a vocalist, mm-hmm. but I felt that when I, when all that was stripped away, mm-hmm. I struggled with the acting side of it. So I went and got a BFA degree in acting so oh. I could like be a triple threat yeah. kind of thing when I moved out here, which is what I originally wanted yes. to do was yeah. theater. Uh, but so that's kind of why I did that. And the people are always like, Oh, it's, that's strange that you have that. And I'm, I'm always like, yeah, don't really use it, but it, it was, was really it a great. Conservatory? <laughs> you went to a conservatory? Uh, no, I, it was okay. just a private school oh. in Oklahoma city. They're very famous for, yeah. um, their vocal department actually. Is it, what's the name of the school? Oklahoma city university. Okay. Okay. There's actually a lot in the songwriter scene. There's a f- here, there's yeah. a couple of OCU grads. Okay. That, Is, yeah. do you know Melinda Doolittle? I do. do. Have you heard of her? Is that a school she went to? I don't know. Okay. But I do know her. She was an American Idol. Yes. Yeah. 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 (laughs) Okay. Yeah. Because the the school she went to, they produced a lot of uh, singers. Oh, I should look. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. Wow. Good. So when did you move to New York? Uh, I moved here, I guess, almost like three years ago now. Okay. But I've been, it's, I feel like I've lived here probably like three years now, but I've Mm -hmm. been here for about six months Mm. because I'm always gone. Oh, so I can't really. Oh, I don't know. You're always like, going for like a like a job. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm always gone. So okay. I mean, I, I first started coming out here when I was like 17 or 18. Okay. So I, I don't know how to count it. Mm-hmm. I couldn't even. Mm. <laughs> so I'm lucky to. <laughs> I'm lucky to. <laughs> to. That's what I was saying the other day. Yeah. I was like, I leave in two weeks. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, talk about that. You said you said something yeah. about a contract. Is yeah. it a contract for for a job for? Yeah, I work for Carnival Cruise Lines. Okay. Um, okay. I've worked for them for about almost four or five years now mm-hmm. uh i lead rock bands and uh lead big brass bands yeah. and jazz bands and mm-hmm. stuff and then i'm also uh i've done piano bar entertainment for them mm. and now i'm a music director so i'm a guitar soloist yeah. and then i'm in charge of the music department on board the ship wow yeah and so i don't know that's okay. kind of my day job yes but it does take me and out of the city oh yeah <laughs> and that's do. a really good day job for an artist i for, get to do yeah. music yes so um i'm not i don't like to be gone for so long really Mm -hmm. because i feel like i miss opportunities and shows and my friends have gigs Mm -hmm. and i miss them out here but i would rather be doing music for my day job Mm -hmm. i think than Mm -hmm. (laughs) that's awesome that's really good that's um i wanted to ask you when did you start playing the piano uh, I started in church. In the I, church. Yeah, okay. I started in church. Actually, okay. I started, we had a piano in my house mm-hmm. and my mom's been trying to find this video because it's lost somewhere. Mm-hmm. But she has a video of me when I was two mm-hmm. and they're watching TV and I was sitting at the piano mm-hmm. like with my dad yeah. and I was sounding out the, th- yeah. oh. the theme song from the commercial. Wow. And so my dad was like, Vanessa's my mom's name Vanessa I think she's playing the the song from the commercial that's I think and then they like I did it like a couple of times so they like called people around like piano teachers and they were like will you take my two-year-old and the piano teachers were like no we don't we don't teach (laughs) (laughs) two-year-olds like you like you don't understand we don't teach two-year-olds and but I started when I was four like like uh, doing piano but they have like yeah wow you're all music (laughs) (laughs) i had i guess like i don't really remember having like that Mm -hmm. good of an ear i I think i have relative pitch but i don't have like anywhere near perfect or anything like that but i mean but i mean who needs perfect (laughs) (laughs) i know i think it's sometimes it's a little bit of a hindrance i would think like i would be annoyed all the time (laughs) (laughs) now um i we found i found you on instagram yeah and, you know, so, yeah i love that you're you are so active on instagram i love instagram yeah it's like <laughs> you do covers like yo and if you're listening to this if you want the cover of any song at all any song <laughs> <laughs> go to her instagram <laughs> any day yeah. i try to do one every day well for my job for mm-hmm. carnival i have to know every cover song ever and that's not real but like like it's you're on the ship you Mm -hmm. play five hours a night Mm -hmm. you take requests so you play whatever people want to hear (laughs) i 
no, and it, but it's and it's you don't have Wi-Fi or anything. Yeah. So like here, if people request a song, I'll just look up the chords real quick or look up the lyrics. Yeah. But I don't have Wi-Fi on the ship, so oh I could God. be like, if someone's like, do you know Hotel California? And yeah. I do, but like I'll say, oh no, I don't know that one. Uh, sorry, mm-hmm. but I can't do that yeah. because I'm like a huge perfectionist. Yes. So yes. if I ever have to say, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know that song, mm-hmm. I lose it. Like yeah. I guess. Yeah. So I've got this app thing where I've got mm-hmm. 25,000 songs in the wow. chords and the lyrics. And so I've been, what I'm doing is gearing to go back up or to work. So I'm practicing all the time. So you're like a working I've been taking musician. requests on Instagram <laughs> <laughs> every day. Every like yeah. a cover of every song. Yeah. Like well done. It's not oh, like you just, you. you're just <laughs> making it up. You're like, you studied, it's like well studied and well done you know? <laughs> i try i've been taking requests on instagram through like dm so yeah. i'm like practicing this a little bit awesome. like what do you want to hear like i'll play it that's like <laughs> very that's very prolific Thank that's you. like that's like the act the art of doing you're just <laughs> you're just doing stuff you're i just, would be doing it anyways yes. you know because that's what i do i don't do anything nice. other than music like i have yeah. no life outside of it really honestly yeah so i don't that's, know that's I like, awesome that's I like awesome making it interactive wow. and somehow <laughs> nice 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 so um you're working on another uh an album you're thinking yeah. of or you're working up on an album um so that means that you you're I don't want to say go, but <laughs> down the line, yeah. you're going to like be an artist or, or yeah, just hopefully. do your own stuff, you know, <laughs> yeah. um, uh, it's going to happen. It's not hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> the goal. Yeah. We all got goals. <laughs> do you have any, any driving force um, or any kind of um, objective for your music, be it social uh, so societal impact be it, if it could even be religious impact it could be any anything any layer any mm-hmm. extra layer do you understand what i'm yeah, saying yeah. Yeah, to to uh, to your artistry you know um and, yeah and it's okay if you haven't discovered yeah. it you could just vibe about <laughs> it you can talk about whatever you've ever thought about it doesn't have to be a really formed answer but i just want to know yeah you know because it's something i struggle with really <laughs> yes uh, i think my favorite part of being a music musician and performing mm-hmm. is uh building community through music Good. uh so what i love to do i, I have a residency at sylvana right now oh, so okay. it's every okay. sunday at nine and i'm kind of I think that out here in New York, it's very interesting because it's like everyone sits and watches the performer perform, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but no one ever kind of like gets involved, you yes, know, like it's, it, so I I'm see. trying to run it like a jam session oh, awesome, and awesome. people will, I'm always like, oh, I take requests. Like if you want to hear mm-hmm. a song, it's just on your heart. You've been hearing it in your head, like we'll play it or I'll try to play it or if I don't know it, I'll learn it. And so like last week was, or two weeks ago, I guess, cause I skipped a week. It was really mm-hmm. cool because uh, I had some people in the room that I, I don't know them, but like, I was like, Hey, you want to hear a song? Let me know. And they were like, Oh, do you know Jolene by Dolly Parton? Mm. And I said, yeah, I do. Um, mm. but it's better with harmonies yeah. if you, yeah. if you sing it. And it was like a guy and he was like, Oh no, I could, I could, <laughs> I could never sing. Like I couldn't sing it. I just wanted you to sing it. And he got really bashful. And then yeah. he was like, and then I, I was like, okay, well I'll just start it. And then he was like, I'm going to sing it. And oh, he like wow. came up to the stage yeah. and like and sang and he was pretty good. I I believe that everybody's a singer. Mm-hmm, like even if you're mm-hmm, not, everybody mm-hmm. can sing. Yes, yeah, you can yeah. sing a song that mm-hmm, you feel feel mm-hmm, passionately about. Yes. There's nothing that sounds better yep. to me than someone singing a song they really really like. Yes. Yeah, so like yeah. yeah, he sounded and he sounded great and we oh, did like nice. a duet and now we're friends awesome. and you know, like awesome. I I like that a lot. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I I, di- I didn't even think about that, <laughs> but that's very important. Like yeah. building community through music awesome and i was um i was in italy a couple months ago Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i did a show in rome um at my hostel Mm -hmm. and it was at night and during in the morning um i was just like sitting in the hostel bar trying to do my taxes Mm -hmm. (laughs) from italy because i didn't have wi-fi and i was really stressed out and i had my guitar with me because there's no lock on the door Mm -hmm. in the hostel yeah and these guys came up and they were like, Oh, what are you doing? Like, why are you sitting here in the dark? It's sunny outside in Italy. And I was like, I gotta do my taxes. Mm. Uh, and they were like, come outside. You have a guitar. This is yeah. amazing. And so like, I just, I stopped what I was doing and cause they tempted why me. Why are you doing your taxes now? Cause I had to do them. Like it was February. <laughs> you had to get them done, yeah. you know? So I had, yeah. <laughs> I was gone. I was in Europe for like six months I trying. See. It took me six yeah. months to do my tax. It was very stressful, but they were like, they tempted me with beer. They were like, we have beer outside mm-hmm. on the patio. It's a beautiful day in Italy. What are you doing? And I was like, 
fair point. <laughs> uh, so I came out and I had my guitar and there were like 20 people on the patio. Yeah. Nobody knows each other. Everybody's wow. traveling like in by themselves. Mm-hmm. I was a solo traveler. You know, some people are in groups of two and three and stuff, but everybody was like from, there are some guys from Ireland. There is a guy from the Czech Republic. There are girls from Canada and a big group of guys from Australia mm. and some guys from Buffalo that I'm now friends with. Mm. Uh, but like we, all and they, I had my guitar and I had my iPad with all my songs. So yeah. they were like, play us something. And I just started playing. Wow. And then I was like, if anybody wants to hear something, like, let me know. And <laughs> they started requesting and then people would start yeah. singing. <laughs> and then I passed the guitar around. This guy from the Czech Republic played us like these uh, like anti-war songs yeah. that they have in his country. Mm-hmm. And he taught us all the words to them. And then mm. we sang Quezon, which is an Australian tune. Yeah. And we, we sang a song from Canada called Stronger Beer. And mm-hmm. it's all like like oh america you think you're better than us but we have stronger (laughs) beer and like all so we learned and it was just we played music on the patio for like eight hours wow i think and then it was just this huge big group of people and people were taping it and everybody was friends after it was done and then they all came into my show and i had like the biggest crowd what's more what's more late than (laughs) that and that's community yes and that's what i like that's a long story to tell awesome that's (laughs) what i like and i want to do all the time yeah i really (laughs) see that i really um, i really appreciate that wow nice question uh i i told you about yourself do you have any self-embarrassment story oh my lord (laughs) (laughs) i have so oh so many okay oh so many um but the first one i thought of when you said that was the time that i was in high school And it just came to my, that was the first, I'm sure I've done more embarrassing things, but I was working at an ice cream shop, yeah. like at night with a couple of my friends, mm-hmm. like just to like make money on the side in high school. Mm-hmm. And I was closing on, in this ice cream shop on the beach. Mm-hmm. And so it was like 2 a.m. when we closed and then I just drive home. It was really close. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, it was one of those times where you're like 17 and they like you close a business by yourself yeah. at 2 a.m. And you're like, okay, this is yeah. safe. This is normal. <laughs> but <laughs> like, I got the keys yeah. and for the safe, yeah. whatever. I got a ton of money. But like I closed and then I walked outside and it had been like a, a busy day at the ice cream shop, yeah. like stressful day for a 17 year old. And I walked outside and I didn't see my car. And oh. like, I was like, oh, this is so like, this is so weird. I mm-hmm. usually park in this one spot. Yeah. Okay. And I just stood there for a second. And then I like all the stress, like from work, I guess, I don't know what happened, but I freaked out and mm-hmm. I was like, my car is gone. And I called 911 and I reported my car stolen <laughs> <laughs> and they came out and they found my car. It was behind oh it. Gosh. It was in the back oh of the parking gosh. lot. Cause I hadn't gotten yeah. my spot that day yeah. oh. and I just didn't remember it by the oh time I, yeah. it had been like a 12 hour shift and they were like, man, we found your car. <laughs> <laughs> And I remember going home that night and being like, oh, and like so embarrassed. Yeah, I have, I have so many cat stories like that. Oh, gosh. I'm yeah. Like, oh, wow. I'm still embarrassed by that. Like, it oh, like, you got the cops involved. They're probably like, did. oh, my God. I was like on it. I was like oh, ready. My God. I can I can see that. Yeah. I oh, When I lived in Pittsburgh, I used to I used to live um on a street that has a lot of buses pass by. Yeah. So I would I, I was I was in grad school then. I had a car. Yeah, the car is usually in in front of my my door, but there are right. buses passing. So I take the bus all the time. So this one day I I came out and I seen I didn't see any bus for a while. So I decided to drive and I drove and I parked my car at the school somewhere. And then when I was going home, I'm used to taking the bus. That's right. all I, oh, that's no. what I'm used to. I took the bus back home. Then I woke up the next morning. I'm like, where is my car? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> where is my car? You know, it took me an hour to like realize that, okay, I drove yesterday and I parked it at school. Oh, my Lord. And then I totally <laughs> forgot I drove to school. Yeah. And I took the bus back home. <laughs> At least you didn't get the police involved. Yeah, like, the police. <laughs> she weren't like, I got a crime here. I got a crime. Yeah. That's good. Wow. So let's conclude with this little game. I call sure. it, um, sometimes I call it turn up or mute. Sometimes I call it turn up and mute. Oh, so okay. we're going to play turn up and mute. Okay. You know. <laughs> All right. So the one that you like, it. <laughs> 
it, you don't have to choose between you don't have it's not like okay. you like one and hate one but mm-hmm. which one would you listen to right now which one would you mute cool. right now cool. you know you could listen the one you mute you can listen to it later on cool. okay uh or it, it does it's yeah, not, we're not know, just it's not all music we're not bad You're fine mouthing uh, no, no, <laughs> we no, love everyone bad yeah we love everything mute you know? means yeah. we still love you yeah we still love you yeah <laughs> okay bob dylan or johnny mitchell oh no uh johnny mitchell johnny mitchell yes okay turn up johnny mitchell mute mute bob dylan bob we're gonna listen to you later on all right you're great bob (laughs) this is my music (laughs) keep on keeping on keep writing (laughs) new york city or oklahoma city um oh no i i would like to visit oklahoma city again okay so you turn it up for now yeah sure i see that great all right justin adele which one will you turn up now? <laughs> Which one will you mute? Uh, Adele. Turn up Adele. Adele. You turn I up think, Adele? I think so. Oh. No. Wait. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Justin. Because that's a lie. Because I was listening to her on the way I, I, I here. I totally influenced your opinion there. I no, totally no, no. I was your... listening to her on the way here. Yeah. Did you see my post about yes, her? Yes, I saw it. I oh, saw my it. Lord. Like, jo- I, another person that really is in love with Justin. I'm in love with Justin. I love her. Every- <laughs> and I didn't know what happened to her because I haven't heard stuff from her in like a while. Like, oh. And then... Um, this oh, just I haven't heard like a yeah, new yeah, like yeah, I didn't yeah yeah and then she's I looked, been touring yeah she's been doing that yeah she's been touring yeah. and she's going to she's been to 120 countries yeah. and she goes to like places that musicians can't usually yeah. visit mm-hmm. and she sings the songs of like tribes and yes. communities yep. and me loving like music is mm-hmm. building a community, community music, yeah. I was like I am shook yeah like I am yeah that's exactly yeah. what I want to do and yeah. I had like a moment so yes, okay Justin yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm originally from okay, Nigeria Justin. and she did something with this Nigerian musician and I saw yeah. it and it's so amazing yeah it's just great yeah, I love it's that great. it's great I want to do that wow <laughs> Savannah Justin. Jane this has been fun this this was amazing yeah. thank you for thank doing it thank you so much it. for thank having you. me thank you <laughs> let's do it again yeah yeah <laughs> totally this is fun <laughs> later <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to find the words in my head So hard to hear the things that you said When you said goodbye Why is it so hard to see that if you have me You can't have her, you can't have her No boy, that's absurd You ain't got no respect there ain't none here And I fear I can't go on living here With no respect For me or my mind I can't find a reason You've gone out of season I'm gone Broken, you'll be cursed